Hey guys, welcome to another lecture from EcoPoint. Today I'm going to work on the concept of homogeneous system of equations. Extremely important from any exam point of view and also in terms of a lot of applications based on it. What we will be learning today is what is a homogeneous system of equation? What kind of solutions we get and the notion of basic and general solution. What is a homogeneous system of equations? We have already seen what a system of equation looks like, right? So suppose you have a system of equation in n variables, a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus so on and so forth till say a1 n x n. Then the next one is a21x1 plus a22x2 plus so on and so forth. A, A2nxn equals to your right hand side. So on and so forth. Suppose we have m such equations. So am1x1 plus am2 x2 plus so on and so forth till a m n x n equals to when your right hand side instead of b1 b2 b3 so on and so forth it's just zero all the equations are equated to zero the right hand side is zero for all the equations it is called the homogeneous system of equations or in the matrix formulation, you can write it down as AX equals to zero. Let's answer now the second question. What about the solutions to this system of equations? Can we say anything? Yes, absolutely. So when you have AX equals to zero, logically deduce yourself. X equals to zero will always satisfy the system of equations. That is, AX will always be equal to zero when X is equal to zero. Where X is basically your vector X1, X2, so on and so forth till Xn. So it's equal to zero. That means it's zero, 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 so on and so forth. Whichever dimension you are in accordingly. Okay. Now, this solution, x equals to 0, is called the trivial solution. Trivial solution of homogeneous system of equations is basically x equal to 0. The system of equation can also have a non-trivial solution, which is something that I will talk about very soon. But one thing that comes directly from this, one consequence that comes directly from this is that x equals to 0 is always a solution to the homogeneous system of equation, which means we can never have a situation of no solution. There always is one solution, which is x equal to 0. No solution is not possible. So when it comes to homogeneous system of equations, there are two solutions possible. Unique solution and infinitely many solutions. That is because no solution is not a possibility at all. X equal to zero is always a solution. So if I tell you that, oh, this homogeneous system of equation has unique solution. Can you tell me what the solution will be? I'm sure you can. It will be X equal to zero. If a homogeneous system of equation always has one solution that is x equal to zero and I say that it has a unique solution, then that solution has to be x equals to zero because it's always there. It is there. Okay. So if you have a unique solution in case of homogeneous system of equations, it is x equals to zero. And if you have any other solution possible, that means that will fall into the category of infinitely many solutions. We'll see how. So suppose we have 
A homogeneous system of equation AX equals to 0 where A is an M cross N matrix. That means we have M equations in N variables. If you have M equations in N variables, then the following thing are possible. Number one, if rank of the coefficient matrix A is equal to R and it is equal to N, the number of variables, then that will give you a unique solution. On the other hand, if R, the rank, is less than N, if R is less than N, then you will get infinitely many solutions. And well, no solution is not possible, right? So, let me explain this scenario with the help of an example. Suppose we have two equations, 2x plus y plus z plus 4w equals to 0. x plus 2y minus z plus 5w equals to 0. These are two equations in four variables. Let's solve this system of equations with the help of row operations. So in the matrix form, if I create my augmented matrix, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 4, 5, on the right hand side, you have 0 here, 0 here. So dealing with the augmented matrix in case of homogeneous system of equations becomes very simple because your right hand side is always 0. So everything that you are working on A can actually give you the corresponding results. Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just swap 1, 2, minus 1, 5, 2, 1, 1, 4. And now I'm going to use my row operations in order to get. So if I use the row operations, R2 goes to R2 minus twice of R1. I'll make a zero out here. And this is the corresponding matrix that I'm going to get. Further, can you see that three turns out to be common here? So if you want to reduce it even further, you will get 1, 2, minus 1, 5, 0, Minus 1, 1, 2, minus 2. On the right hand side, you have 0, 0. So, in terms of equations, it boils down to, in terms of equations, it boils down to this. So, which means that y is equal to z minus 2w. And if I substitute the value of y here, I'm going to get x is equal to minus 2 z minus 2 w plus z minus 5 w that is minus 2 z plus z minus z minus minus plus plus 4 w minus 5 that is minus w. So what you will realize here is that the solution terms. So what you will realize here is that solution is in terms of Z and W. Yes, that's the notion of the free variables. Z and W, you will have to give them free values in this system so that you can also generate the values for X and Y. Say Z is T and W is S x becomes minus t minus s, y becomes t minus 2s and that becomes your system of equation and that becomes your solution set. Your solution set is x, y, z, w and that could be written as minus t minus s, t minus 2s, t, s. And I can even break it down. I can break it down as minus 1, 1, 1, 0 times t 
प्लस माइनस वन माइनस टू जीरो वन टाइम्स एस ओके सो आई कैन ब्रेक इट डाउन लाइक दिस वॉट यू विल सी इज दैट टी एंड एस कैन टेक एनी वैल्यूज वेर टी एस दे कैन टेक एनी वैल्यू फ्रॉम आर सो वॉट इज इट टेलिंग यू इफ टी एंड एस कैन टेक एनी वैल्यू फ्रॉम आर दैट मीन्स एक्स वाई जेड डब्ल्यू कैन टेक एनी वैल्यू इन आर फोर विच मीन्स यू आर जनरेटिंग योर infinitely many solutions so this system of equation had infinitely many solutions what was the case the case was that your number of variables n was 4 and the rank of this matrix was 2 because we reduced it so we know the rank of the matrix was 2 right so rank of the matrix is less than the number of variables hence you have an infinitely many solutions that will always happen why because you will get some free variables the way i taught you out here okay now one important terminology basic solution so every homogeneous system of equations has a basic solution what is a basic solution if you put one of these p or s as 0 and the other one as 1 so for example when i put p equals to 0 s equal to 1 i get a solution which is a part of the set of solutions to this okay which is a part of this so if you put this as 0 and this as 1 you will get 1 minus sorry minus 1 minus 2 0 1 this is one of the basic solutions to this homogeneous system of equation similarly if you put t equals to 1 and s equals to 0 you will get this vector minus 1 1 1 0 this is another basic solution so when you have two free variables you have two basic solutions these are called basic solutions okay so this is called basic solution so you have two basic solutions here and what you have here is called the general solution this is the general solution to a homogeneous system of equation in the next lecture we will connect general solution of homogeneous system of equation with the corresponding non homogeneous system of equation thank you very much i hope this will really help you out thank you